I'm gonna take a long way to work today. You guys probably won't be able to see anything tonight, because whereas normally I forget to turn the low light setting off, I forgot to turn it on tonight. I knew I was gonna be recording. Damn it! myself all the time and I never freaking release them so this is one's probably gonna be the same way but just because it's a rant kind of like yeah it, it's a rant I'll call it what it is I'll call an orange a lemon you know but uh is that how that goes yeah no but so so this whole thing in Orlando happened right the tragedy yeah first off uh, first off I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw this out there too, as I'm going through this, if I sound insensitive to the whole matter, like, I pretty much got the sensitivity beat out, beat the shit out of me while I was in the Marine Corps, so, like, I'm insensitive to a lot of shit. Um, America isn't one of them. I love my country, but, like, I don't know. Shootings, things, and and freaking terrorists, not terrorists, gun control, whatever, blah 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 blah, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Not the fact that people died, that's not bullshit. The fact that everybody puts their own freaking spin on it, however they want it to go, and when it happens, that's that's a tragedy. I mean, come on, like. First thing Obama comes out and says is, "Ah, oh, well, if they they shouldn't have been able to get those guns if we had stricter." Shut the fuck up! God dang it! The dude's a freaking terrorist. I don't understand why it's so hard to grasp. It's not hard to grasp. He knows. He knows this. It's just him pushing his agenda. Good job, dude. Just fucking nudge out there in the middle of the fucking street there. Whatever. Not enough patience to wait fucking 30 more seconds for me to actually get by. So anyways. Uh, I see this. And this isn't about, this isn't about the shooting. About what happened. This is about what happens after that happens. There's several things I can go into about that shooting that just don't make any sense. But I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna try and get into that because I'm not a conspiracy theorist nut, but you all know what I'm talking about. But what I'm talking about is I get on Facebook, Instagram, freaking MySpace. Not really. I still have a MySpace actually. I'm, I think. I know the password and everything to it. I haven't logged on to it in obviously like freaking eight years, ten years, something like that. But anyway, so I get on there and I see all these, all these freaking three percenters or whatever, you know, freaking, freaking militia wannabe, freaking whatever. Everybody that, everybody that owns a gun or has ever shot a gun is all of a sudden a, a Second Amendment freak. garbage all over the internet uh, ah man it just drives me nuts it, it aggravates me so bad that these these kids get on there and I say kids okay a lot of these people like I knew when they were like a lot they were a lot younger than me and I knew them when they were kids growing up and stuff so I call them kids but they get on there and start talking about how oh uh, blah 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 uh, yeah it's just god damn it, I don't even I can't 
kind of blank it out of my mind because it drives me nuts. Like the crap that, like all this patriotic, you know, anti, anti Obama, you know, yay for our country, or you know, not yay for our country, but like, like, uh, I don't even know how to say it. Like patriotic, I guess. They want to be patriotic on their freaking Facebook or on their whatever because these these people own guns or they've shot guns or, or you know, I'm a I'm a 3 percenter i I'm uh, I'm a I'm like a fake militia man, you know, whatever blah blah blah. I seriously doubt any of them are actually in the militia. I'm not in the militia. But I mean, shit goes down be right there but all these all these guys you know they're patriotic this or that but all my only words of advice for you since you're so patriotic put the fuck up or shut the fuck up there's fucking there's places you can go uh, they're called the army the Marine Corps, rah, and the Navy, the Air Force, whatever. Um, that you can really go be patriotic. And if you actually, I mean, you talk a lot of talk, but I've never seen you do shit about it. Um, whether, I mean, whether we were at, I don't, I don't even know what they're calling this right now, whether we're at war or not, sooner or later we're going to be, like, all out again, and it's funny because as I was leaving, while I was in the Marine Corps, serving my country, as I was leaving Iraq, um, we were getting ready to, we were getting ready to pull out, <laughs> and, uh, where I was stationed in Iraq was about halfway between Ramadi and Fallujah. Now, while I was in Iraq, it wasn't it wasn't a kinetic place. Well, I mean, it, it could have been, but we like the rules of engagement. We weren't allowed to freaking we weren't allowed to really do much of anything. Kind of had our hands tied behind our back, and and that's kind of what you know. As we were pulling out, I we drove past Fallujah, and I had my uh, I had my camera out, and I was like. And I was talking to my corpsman, and I was like, dude, I was like, I guarantee you within 10 years, and uh, we we got out of there in, oh, 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 nine. yeah, we were there from January 09 until freaking uh, August, July, something like that, August of 09, something, something like that, like, you know, seven months. And as we were, as we were pulling out, I, I looked at him and I said, I said, I guarantee you in 10 years time, this place will be just as bad as it was, you know, six years ago, this place will be just as bad. Like, all, all we're going to pull out and they're going to go right back to their regular, you know, they're going to go right back to their, their dealings, whatever. And what is it? Oh, oh. Oh shit, oh nothing. Freaking 2016 and uh, we're I think we're in a worse state than we were then. So but yeah anyways basically all I'm saying is if you're gonna get on on social media or even in your little group of friends and talk about stuff like that then uh, I got I got a challenge for you. Walk your little happy freaking millennial ass down to the freaking recruiting station. Sign some freaking papers. Go do your little push-ups and sit-ups and whatever the hell. Freaking. And go actually do something about it. Quit freaking talking. Because you can, you can say you're going to do something about it, but one, most of you motherfuckers have never been trained have never 
have never, uh, you know, the, the most you might have done is some freaking three gun competition. Oh my god, oh, I can do three gun. Fuck that. So most of you, if a bullet started flying your way, you'd freaking shrivel up in a ball, piss your pants, shit yourself, and run back to mama with your thumb in your freaking mouth. Anyway, that's that's it. That's that's my freaking little. I don't know. It just drives me nuts that every time I see this stuff, it, it's the same shit every time. Every time, like it's like seriously. I think I think Facebook and Instagram. I think they have it like on repeat. So that way, as soon as it happens, it just floods. Boom! Everybody hits that same freaking little button, and it, it like it just hits like a repeat on Facebook. So all the same stuff, and all the same posts that they posted the last time it happened, just instantly come back up in their feed. <laughs> but anyway, I'm uh. I'm out of here. There, take a look at the river that you can't see because it's dark and I didn't turn the low light on. And there's a big boat right there. I'm going to work. It's freaking... Oh, damn, I'm early. It's not even 11 o'clock yet. It's almost 11 o'clock. On my way to work. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye. Don't be a bitch.